Dear Gene Simmons, why did you block me on Twitter? First, I have to apologize, Gene Simmons, if you're watching this video right now for these big zits that I have. I apologize for that. This is a message to you. I need to know why you blocked me on Twitter. No gratitude need be voiced. Your mind speaks to us. I am speaking now to the man that is inside the demon, that is inside the God of Thunder, not the man that is copulated with thousands and thousands and thousands of women, not the man that's trademarked the money bag sign uh, or, and the word OJ. I'm talking to the man inside. I am talking to the 68-year-old, well, 69 in, on August 25th, but the 68-year-old man deep inside. I am, I am looking to speak to Gene. Gene Klein. Chaim Witz. I, I, I am speaking to you, not the rock star. Now, I can't think of a single time that I have maliciously attacked you or that I have harassed you in any specific way. I did make a few remarks on your book, Kiss and Makeup, that I didn't care for, but I don't remember any specific times that I really lashed out at you like some kind of a monster that would, that would make you decide to, to, to pull out the old sausages and hit that block button. I may have made some funnies about your hair helmet, but you got to admit, it's kind of funny looking. You've got that wiry style of hair and it doesn't really comb well. It's, it's almost afro-y style, but not quite. It's like a, um, it's like a wire scrub brush. So I may have made a couple of goofy jokes here and there, but nothing that I believe warrants me being blocked. How did this happen? How did I find out that you blocked me? Well, it's a simple, it's as simple as this. You have to understand something, sir. You are looking right now at this zit and this zit and in the eyes, but you are also looking at a lifelong fan of your band Kiss. I was there from the first album. I stuck around uh, until Animal Eyes, and then I left. Uh, then I came back on Revenge, and then I left again on Psycho Circus, and I've never been back. Hell no. Uh, but I have many of your records, and I am a big fan of the older years of the 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 older stuff of Kiss. So I don't want you to think that I'm just some uh, some douche that's you know just causing grief with you on the on Twitter. I I have the albums. I was I was I was a fan, and you, sir, you have blocked me. I had an important question that I wanted to ask you. Uh, it may be the most uh, important question in the world, uh, as far as my mind goes at the time that I wanted to ask you this question on Twitter. It was the most important question in the world, and I'm going to ask you that now in hopes that this video finds you and, and you can answer this question for me. Now, in the 1986 film Trick or Treat... You played Nuke. He was a rock and roll DJ, right? Do you remember this movie? It's party time! Yeah, this is the old Nooster coming at you right here on this fine, fine rock till the morning. It's the sweeping sensation that's sweeping the nation, and I'm going to do it to you right here, right now. Wow! Sammy Kerr, he was the uh, the rock star that uh, that uh, did that uh, satanic seance in that hotel, burned in the fire and everything else, but he gave you an acetate. He gave you a record. It was the only one of its kind. And, and you were to play it at, at his, at his high school because Sammy Kerr went to that high school that you went to. And I guess you were longtime friends. And then, of course, there was young, uh, Eddie the Ragman. Hey, Ragman! Who was a heavy metal fan. And, and the, and, and he went to the same high school that you all went to. So th that was all very convenient. Um, but you had a hold of this acetate from Sammy Kerr. Sammy Kerr dies. You have the acetate. Sammy, Sammy Kerr asks you to play this album at midnight on Halloween uh, at the, at the, ha the Halloween dance at the school. And what you do is, uh, you see that Eddie the Ragman is so upset, right? Uh, 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 the passing of Sammy Kerr that what happens is you give him the acetate. Now, my question is, 
Eddie the Ragman, he does say to you, uh, but what, but, uh, you, how are you going to play it? And you say, hey man, don't worry. I've got it on cassette. I'm going to play it anyways. No fucking way, man. You said you got to play it on Halloween. Yeah, I will. I've got it on tape over there. Little do we know in the movie that that is going to, uh, playing that album at midnight at the school is going to bring Sammy Kerr back from the dead at the Halloween party. We don't, we don't know this is going to happen at the time, but you give that record to Eddie the Ragman. And he is so happy. He is, he's happy as a clam because he's being picked on at school and life's a real shit, shit hole for him. My question to you, sir, before you so rudely blocked me was, did you know were you part of this plan with Sammy Kerr? Were you part of the plan and you knew what was going to happen with the record? Or does your face just look like that? Because right after you hand that acetate to Eddie the Ragman and he walks out going, oh, wow, gee whiz, this is great. I got the, the final record from Sammy Kerr. You have a look on your face. And it's a look I see a lot. So I don't know that it's your acting chops are just absolutely amazing or that's just the way you look all the time or whatever. But my question was, were you part of the plot? Did you know that that acetate was going to bring Sammy Kerr back from the dead or did you know nothing about it? Very cool. Very cool. So if you could answer that question for me, I would much appreciate it since you have blocked me on Twitter and I couldn't ask you that question. Now, I don't care if you unblock me. You've made your bed. You're going to have to lay in it. You're going to have to deal with the consequence. You will not be getting that, that tw uh, August 25th birthday tweet from me saying, happy birthday. I've been blocked. You've, you've, you've. You've crushed this, okay? So I'm not concerned about you unblocking me. If you choose to unblock me, well, that's fine too. But if you can get the chance to answer that question, if you're not too busy uh, uh, at Scottsdale uh, trade trading post or looking at the Dow Jones or goosing some young intern somewhere, um, if you can answer that question, I would truly appreciate it, okay? So uh, I guess that's all I've got for you. Thanks, Gene. Thanks for nothing, pal. I put in plenty of years on your rock band and I, and I, you know, I say one weird thing to you or something and all of a sudden I'm a jerk that needs to be blocked. So, uh, that's all I've got for that. Wake up, sleepy heads. It's body time! Yeah! This is the old Nooster coming at you right here on this fine, fine Rocktober morning! It's the sweeping sensation that's sweeping the nation and I'm gonna do it to you right here, right now. Wow!